Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to display some text in your app before you start your app. So for example, if you're making a game, you might say press enter to start game or something like that. So um, hopefully you guys know how the p5.js app is made up of, the setup function, the draw function. If you're not familiar with this editing environment, feel free to check out my previous tutorial on how to get this editor. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable called mode. And what does this variable do? This variable will uh, determine whether the game has started. Okay, so mode is equal zero, for example, means the game has not started. Mode equals zero in the setup function and what that means is initially the game has not started so mode is equal to zero we're going to create a canvas and specify the size of your level physical size you can change those numbers later and we also want to determine how big the text is going to be on our level so just go text size however big you want the text to be and then in the draw function I'm gonna say if the mode is equal to zero if mode is equal to zero then I'm going to display the text so text what do you want to say on the screen you want to say press enter to start or something like that where do you want to display it? Well, let's <clears throat> change the X coordinate to let's say 20, Y coordinate 20. Something like that. So it's not touching the edges of our screen. So as always, let's stop and um, see whether it actually works. So click run. And you can see that it's working. <clears throat> Press enter to start. Except uh, the Y coordinate doesn't seem to have affected it. If I put 40. Yes, so that's working a little bit. Okay, so press enter to start. Um, now, <clears throat> I want to make it so that after I press a key, it'll make this message disappear and start the game. So I'm going to create another function called key pressed. Right, and that will listen for any key that's pressed, it'll run this function. So you press the key, any key on the keyboard. And then what it'll do is it'll say if the key you've pressed is enter. Okay, now why do you use three equals this time? Normally it's two equals when you're just checking if the value of this variable is equal to what's in the variable, right? The value is equal to what's in the variable. Here, you're also checking the type. So whatever uh, value you put here, the type has to equal key code. Anyway, it's just checking whether the key code is equal to enter. Okay, so if it is equal to enter, I'm going to change the mode to 1, but if you save that, if you play this, run this app, and you press enter, nothing happens, okay? And the reason is because you need to make sure that you clear the screen at the end of each draw loop, because if you clear it, then it'll only display this text when mode is zero. So as soon as you press the enter key, mode will become one, so it's not going to display this text. So let's run it. <clears throat> press enter. All right, disappears. So when mode equals one, then here is where you're going to put in the code for your game, all the code that you normally put in the draw function. 
So then I can say draw the ellipse. All right, this will signify that the game has started. All right, but you're obviously going to have a lot more code in this section. Okay, so let's run that. Press enter. Game has started. All right, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.